Tamil is not just a language, it is a culture, it's a civilization. The root, the source and the core of this culture and civilization is devotion and the sthanas are the centers of this devotion which churns this devotion. In this culture for thousands of years is the temple which is built to a certain science. Temples became powerful means of transforming one's lives. குழந்த பிறந்தாலும் பிறந்த நாள்னாலும் கோவிலுக்கு போய் அந்த புது ட்ரெஸ் போட்டு கோயிலில் போய் அர்ச்சனை பண்ணிட்டு அந்த சாமி பார்த்துட்டு வர்றது காது குத்துறது ஒரு குழந்தைக்கு சாப்பாடு ஊட்டணும் கல்யாணம் அப்படின்னா கூட பத்திரிக்கை முதல்ல கோயிலில் போய் சாமிக்கு வைக்கிறது யாராவது இறந்துட்டாங்கன்னா கோவிலில் போய் மோட்ச தீபம் போடணும் இந்த தெய்வத்தோட ஒரு சம்பந்தத்தில் தான் எல்லாமே நடந்தது கோவிலோட சம்பந்தத்தில் தான் This land in 1700s, which decided to capture the temples in this nation, <laughs> not because they were interested in the sanctity of those places, the power and the benefit of those places, they were interested in the wealth, the gold, diamonds, money and the land which the temples held. That vulgar act of taking over Indian temples, unfortunately is continuing till today, after seventy-four years of independence. This is very painful because a temple is not a place of prayer, it is the soul of this community. UNESCO, the UN agency, says the traditional temples of Tamil Nadu are in a bad state of decay. ஒரே <laughs> பில்லு <laughs> Well, if they had demolished the temples, people would have built it back. But they have chosen to suffocate the temples, slowly make them into nothing. In the year 2020, in the Madras High Court, the HR and CE ministry has submitted that they are not able to maintain even one puja or ritual per day in 11,999 temples, just one short of 12,000 because there is no revenue. 34,000 temples have less than 10,000 rupees income, not per month, per annum. 37,000 temples, they are not able to appoint more than one person to do whatever is needed in the temple. That means the same person does the puja, he is supposed to clean it, he is supposed to take care of the management and everything. It's time that the temples of Tamil Nadu 
come out of the clutches of the government and into the hands of responsible, competent and devout community. வேணும் <laughs> Please leave it to the devotees. We will manage it. If it's at the cost of our life, we will manage it. How to do it, the complexities of it, we will look at that later. First thing is, the government should show the intent that the temple should be managed by the community, not by the government. In my understanding of what is secular, secular nation means a religion does not mess with the government and the government does not mess with the religion.